Hello friends, now we are looking on geological map of southwest of Iceland. It's the only one super detailed map where you can see all the lava fields from historical and prehistorical times. Uh, the brighter the color, the younger the lava field. So here you see a vast lava field. The town of Grindavik is, uh, is here. You see the Grindavik. But uh, west of Grindavik you have this uh, big lava field called Eldvarpa Ruin. And you see the craters row. It's from 13th century. It's far bigger than uh, lava fields than the lava field that we have witnessed now from December uh, to January. So see how big it is. It's reached almost the ocean on the other side. It's stretching over all Reykjanes Peninsula. And this is from the 13th century, from 1200s. You see how many craters uh, are there, how big fish it was when it had been erupting. So that's why volcanologists do not exclude eruption in this area as well. That's why also they are building walls here west of uh, Blue Lagoon that you saw in my video. You see, Blue Lagoon itself is surrounded by two lava flows. One is from historical times. To the west it's called Itla Hroin, which means bad lava. And that's where we have inflation here in Itla Hroin, in this area. The highest uh, inflation point is here. And then uh, West of Blue Lagoon, we have another lava field, SHI, I need to look up what's the name of this. I think it's Schwarzenge means, a black metal. And this lava field is from prehistorical times, it means 1,900-2,400 years, it means around 2,000 years. So this is from 2,000 years ago, and this is from historical times. So Grindavik Road crosses through this historical lava, from 13th century, which arrived from this uh, craters. You see, they had been stretching all over Reykjanes Peninsula. Fissure must have been huge when it was erupting back in the 13th century. Then lava, no, in, the, in the ongoing eruptions, in the last eruptions, lava uses this uh, red eruptive fissures from 2,000 years ago. Those about mm, 2,400 years ago. Uh, so it uses the old piping system to get to the surface. See Sun Nukur. We don't see here the lava from the last eruptions because this map predates uh, it's older than that. It's like it was published 2010. So it's like 10 years before we witnessed that this eruption. It was published. So we had an eruptive fissures from some 2000 years. Actually, it's hard to tell exactly the age. It's prehistorical lava, it says. 1,900 to 2,400. Let's say roughly 2,000 years ago. Yeah, so this Sunnuka Niger. That's where lava broke to the surface. So, you see Hagafat here. Uh, Storaskoga Fat, you see. We had fissures there. We had eruptive fissures. Lava was breaking up to the surface there already. 2,000 years ago, and this is historical lava, so Eldwerp craters from 13th century, which is huge in size, you see, it lava made almost to the ocean to the north, you see, uh, current lava fields are about this big, like, this big, you see, more or less, yeah, but that one is like double size, from 13th century, so, this is not the first time we see eruptions in this area. All Reykjanes Peninsula has lava fields from various ages. The youngest ones are Eldvar Pahroin, this Eldvar lava. And also here to the very west of Peninsula we have, on the very western edges of Peninsula, we have this Stampar craters, Stampahroin, which is also from historical times. I think it's 13th century also, like similar age as this one more or less or 12th century it's a crater row a few kilometers long which and lava went into the ocean you see yeah. so we had two historical lavas after Iceland had been settled to the west and here also west of Grindavik Eldvar Pahroin you see that's why Armand Hörskelson had been always speculating 
when this eruption had been ha happening, the lava might break here to the surface using this old eruptive fissure system. Because inflation point is here, so it can break there or there, but most likely they say here. And also we had the pressure change in the boreholes, which are here next to the highway, close to Blue Lagoon, like east of Blue Lagoon. So you see Blue Lagoon sits between two uh, lava fields, one from historical, another one from 2000 years. And uh, the town of Grindavik sits even on more ancient lavas. Well, actually, 2000 lavas from 2000 years ago, they did spill over in Grindavik. You see, partially also here west of Grindavik, there is some another lava field. There are eruptive fissures west of Grindavik town. Here you see them just west of the town uh, where we have we had eruptions. Those are from 2000 years, I think. Yeah, those are from 2000 eruptive fissures west of Grindavik, very close to the houses, you see. And um, now in Fagar the Sviat, you see uh, greenish color, it means uh, like uh, lava cap of interglacial or glacial times from ice ages. There was no eruption here, you see, it's green thing, it's like super ancient. But we had an eruption here. In Gelengadalur, you see, in in the areas where we didn't have eruptions for really thousands of years, like twelve thousand years at least. And you see, Meradalur, there was no eruption there, like at all. Like is this area is some super ancient uh, green thing. So um, then, at Little Hrutor, yeah. Little Hrutor sits on the lava from uh, lava shield from 7,000 years ago. This is this lava shield, uh, kind of uh, west of Little Hrutor. We had eruption here, and there is a lava shield of uh, Thrian's uh, shield lava, which and generated all this lava, and it went even in the ocean for kilometers. So. Um, Grindavik sits rather close to the historical lava and also from lava relatively by history in geological terms rather young lavas all around Grindavik from 2000 years so it was kind of dangerous to build up on on the area where you have eruptions every 1000 years more or less even more frequent than that and big eruptions which flood big areas so well, Kaplovik is safe, you see, there was no eruption in where we have at the airport, the town of Njardvik, Kaplovik. This is like super ancient areas, like where there was no eruption since Ice Age, like no, even older than that, you see, airport. So. And the more you go west uh, on Regnus Peninsula, the more uh, you have um, new levels. Like this area, this is the newest part of Iceland, the westernmost part of southwesternmost part of uh, Reykjanes Peninsula, you see eruptive fissures here, stamper, red things are eruptive fissures eruptive fissures, eruptive fissures that's where we had fissures maybe erupting for for months back in 12th century, I don't know exactly the history of this eruption but I need to look up anyway it's a very important map here, which is called the geological map of southwest of Iceland. And uh, this is what I wanted to show you here is the explanations of colors and uh, the lavas from different ages, you see. Anyway, all the best to you guys.